Today I'm going to make some interchangeable charm earrings. Now what you can do is you can do just a simple Brio Lay wrap, you can use pre-made charms, you could do um, anything like that. I'll have links to my charm, how to make a charm uh, video as well as a Brio Lay video. You don't have a head pin that's pre-made. Let's go on the very end of it and then just do a little bit of a curl. Now the curl is really something you want to keep tight because that's going to be something that's going to be um, stopping your ear, your earring um, charms from going anywhere. So once your curl is made, so it would be something like that, you're just going to use your round nose pliers and then just make a little bit of a hook on there like that. Okay, and then once that's done, you're just going to continue on and then just kind of go sort of finger bending it like that. And uh, you can always adjust this, pull this down a little bit if you like, because you're just kind of making it like a hook so that once you put your charm on, it won't come off. And then just at the end, you're going to file the end so that there's no sharp bits and then just give it a little tail like that. And then once that's done, all you need to do is slide your charm on. to do it is if you have and this is a smaller version I'm gonna make a little bit of a, a, a bigger version so you can make this as bigger as small as you want um, and it's just gonna make your earring longer or shorter so now that I have um, I have a three inch head pin uh, it's got a bald head on it and I'm just gonna do the exact same thing I'm just gonna do the end but I'm not gonna have to make a curl in the end because I already have the ball head so just do a little bit of a crook on the end like that that's done I'm just going to start to wrap it around like that all right and then right around and you can adjust it as you like like this and so you would come up with something like that and then again you would just have to um, file the end and I'm working with probably about, um, you can work with between an 18 to 22 gauge. This is a 20 gauge wire that I'm working with today. Uh, the second ear wire, the easiest way to do it so that they're exactly the same is for you just to go alongside and just try and follow what you've already done. So just do your little crook like you did in the beginning. Okay, and then just measure it alongside there and make sure that it's sort of about the same size. All right, and then you would just Kind of try and guide your wire along what you've already done and then that will give you something that's very very similar because a lot of times it's really hard to make them both exactly the same so you're just kind of guiding along and adjusting accordingly and again you can use like longer wires if you want and uh, you can change out the charms every single day and if you wanted to make your own head pin instead of doing uh, buying a, a three inch head pin you're going to start it with but three and a half inches of, uh, of sterling silver wire or um, I have a fine silver here so I don't need to uh, get the fire scale off it. So just start up your torch uh, and hold your, uh, your wire inside and then you'll slowly see it start to ball up. And once it's balled up a little bit, you're done. And then you just cool it down. And then you would just do your next one, the exact same thing. Um, and, you, and that will give you about three inches because uh, a little bit less than half an inch uh, of uh, silver is required uh, to make your ball. You can play with the amount that you use. So this concludes the tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you next time. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.